Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie. Today we're going to be doing a money and finances reading. These have been really positive lately. The last two money readings that I've done have shown so much abundance coming in, but now I'm curious. <laughs> and I want to see, uh, and I want to get more details on everything that is coming for this area of your life, Pisces. So this is good for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates with you, leave the rest behind, as always. And before we start, I want to thank you for being here. For real. Thank you. Alright. Spirit, please bring in the most relevant, important, and accurate messages about money and finances for Pisces at this time. What's coming? What should Pisces know? What can, what can Pisces benefit from implementing? What is the best advice? Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the Alice in Wonderland uh, tarot. You got the Queen of Cups, Pisces. Lead with your emotions. Even in finances, even in um, work, you know, you may feel perhaps, or you may think that it's better for you to lead with your brain or, you know, with your strategy or your thoughts or your analytics or whatever. And Spirit is saying here, no, no, no. Actually, listen to your intuition. Follow your heart. Follow what feels right. Follow what you feel like doing. Allow your actions, your desires to channel spirit and then sort of like evaluate them. You know what I mean? Like let your intuition take action through you and you're going to be golden, Pisces. Some of you are in work or about money. You're dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This energy could definitely be you, but there is a major sense of priority being emotion emotions yeah being guided by your emotions i'm taking the cards that fall on the table not the ones that flip and i'm taking them upright by the way I'm noticing that more and more cards are flipping, which is not something that happens all that much. And it is making me uh, almost like suspect that <laughs> in the area of money and finances, things very often flip on you or they very often change. It's like things are looking really good and then all of a sudden they don't. Or, you know, things are looking down and all of a sudden it everything changes and it starts getting better from all angles it's almost very unpredictable unpredictable um for some of you this area your income your work your potentials your clients it may be very unpredictable very unexpected sometimes you're really busy and you want to stay busy and you don't have more clients coming in or more contracts coming in, or more hours to work. Other times, it's the opposite. You need a break. And you can't have one. Because <laughs> there's so much going on. So, I do see here that it is a good time to trust what shows up. Trust your intuition, right? Um, follow those emotions. There may be a lot of very valuable, very balanced exchanges in money uh, happening or coming in through networking or socializing. As you can see here, they are gathered around this table. They're looking at each other almost like they have a weird expression going on. So some of you may be a little shy. Some of you may not be the networking type, right? You may be a little bit like, eh, you know, I guess. But I feel like something very magical is going to be coming in. You may be feeling a little bit defensive. You may be feeling a little bit out of sorts. But Pisces, I see that someone here sees your potential. They see your beauty. They see your uh, your charm. And they're going to be coming in with a big, big coin. 
you may feel, as I mentioned, like the underdog. You may feel like you're not good enough for this opportunity, for this offer. But this person that is bringing here an offer that is very abundant to you, they know for a fact that you can do the job. Okay, so you can trust that because this person is an expert in what they do. And there is a massive opportunity they want to bring to you. In order to get to know this person or, you know, allow this opportunity to come in, there is a need to put yourself out there, Pisces, okay? Put yourself in positions in which you can meet people. There could be... <laughs> this is so funny. I've been seeing this, um, this... You know that YouTube has ads, right? And I love ads because ads are what pays my bills, basically, right? Um, through the readings, but I've been seeing this dude promoting the same thing. Oh my god, on every video that I watch, it's just like, I like the guy, the guy is very friendly, like, I'm interested, like, all cool, but I can't help to eye roll every time he shows up, because it's every time I watch a video. <laughs> and you may be... Take it if it resonates, bombarded by something like that online. And interestingly enough, I'm seeing that it may be bombarding you because there is something there for you. Granted, because this person is very like intense about their ads, right? That point, you know, you can put it on the side. <sighs> that person may have something very valuable for you, actually. Super random, super random message. But that's what I'm feeling. Maybe don't discard them just, you know, too soon. Some of you, because of the um, like lack of predictability in your job, you may realize that you often tie yourself in knots. You often lose focus. And I feel like it has more to do with how things change so often. It has more to do with that than your actual focus. So some of you may feel like, why can't I focus on something long term? Why can't I do the same thing for a long time? Some of you feel like you change your mind every five seconds. Now, it may not be all on you, Pisces. So consider the possibility that your response and the way that you adapt is... A reflection of how your industry works or how your clients work or how social media works you may be a little bit confused on how to move forward but I think you're doing a good job to be honest it's like the ocean, you know, the tides go up and down, the waves go up and down. Sometimes there are bigger waves, sometimes there are smaller waves, sometimes, you know, everything looks glassy and beautiful. Sometimes it's choppy as hell. And you are responding to all of this. It makes you a skilled sailor. But at some point, I feel like you forget what you're doing or why you're doing what you're doing. Because all you're focusing on is adapting. So how can you uh, find a balance between those two? How can you place a goal or a north that is so strong that it anchors you and your focus so that when all the weather hits and you get distracted and engaged with the day-to-day, -day, uh, you can still at the same time see where you're going. Some of you need more tangible goals is what I'm getting some of you are like, I'm wanting to manifest success. I'm wanting to manifest abundance. Yeah, but what does that look like for you, though? How do you know that you got there? What is that measurable um, milestone, right? Some of you may feel unfocused. You may feel unclear. But it's because your goals are unclear. You may be doing really well but since you don't know exactly by what measure you don't feel like you're doing really well 
you have to have a little bit more clarity, Pisces. So that's what I'm getting here. You have to have a little bit more clarity because that is what's going to give you a real understanding of how you're doing. Let me use an example. Um, for those of you who are YouTubers, those of you who have channels, um, you know the analytics. I mentioned that word before in this reading, which I never really use. So I'm thinking about that. Analytics tell you, this is the amount of subscribers you gain. This is the amount of views you've gotten in comparison to the last month. Um, this is the amount of money that you're getting day to day. If you don't analyze those, those are just numbers and you get this idea like, oh, you know, that's kind of cool or whatever. Or like, oh, I'm falling a little behind. But it doesn't really give you that much data. But if you go into it and you say, okay, so let's sit down with this and really analyze things and see like if I did this and that got me there, what if I do that in order to get here? Well, that makes sense. You do the trial, you see if it works, then you come back. It's like a, a deeper engagement into the same thing that you're doing. I feel Pisces that that is going to give you clarity and sort of like that edge that could be missing for you to go that little bit. I'm getting like, this is kind of like the last five pounds, right? That is what's going to give you that little edge, analyzing your results, analyzing. And even though they're telling you here to prioritize your intuition and your emotions over any of that, there is an emphasis as well on clarity. Some of you don't know what success means. You're like, I want to be abundant. Okay. How much money a month do you need in order to feel like you're being abundant? What amount of savings in the bank would make you feel abundant? What is that number? What is that milestone? Because you may have already passed your milestone and still you're not clear if you did or not, if you don't know your numbers. You may be making tons of money, but if you don't take... Um, any kind of record about that money, you're not even going to realize. I've been there. You know, in my business, for years, I was just like, eh, I don't know how much I'm making. I don't know if it's whatever, right? But then, when it started to get a little bit more structured, and I started doing all of the tax shit, I'm like, fuck, I'm making a lot of money. I didn't even realize I was making so much money. And that's because I never stopped to analyze it. So Pisces, what can you analyze? What can you really narrow down to understand if you are close to your goals or not? Clarity is needed. Clarity is going to prevent anyone from, from taking you for a ride. If you have clarity, no one can tell you anything. No one can mess with you. If you are on top of your stuff, on top of what you do for a living, if you're really paying attention, people may come your way and want to convince you of this or persuade you of that or accuse you of this or that. But if you have awareness on, on everything, they can't tell you shit. Because <laughs> you know, you know better. It's like all of their bluffs are going to be called out. But if you don't know what you want, where you're going, or at what point of the journey you're at, you are in this darkness. You are in this moon card in which almost your fears, your insecurities, the lack of clarity is what is leading you. Where? I don't know. Where? You don't know. But you're hoping to arrive somewhere nice. <laughs> it's crazy because the whole reading is almost going against this... Well, 
Well, Pisces, you tend to be very aligned intuitively. So maybe your intuition has been already telling you this. And that's what they mean. Yeah. There could be someone around you who's trying to distract you, bending over backwards, trying to get your attention, maybe in a good way, um, trying to almost like convince you they're the shit so you go with them in some kind of business association or whatever. In other cases, there could be people bending over backwards to distract you by making themselves victims, by showering you with their problems, by making you feel like they need your help financially, whatever. But as you can see here in the cards, it's like people are trying to distract you, but you're focused. You know what's up. You know what you got to do. And as long as you keep yourself there, you're going to be moving forward. Speed is really kind of like the momentum is building. And some of you need to be very introspective about those goals. Some of you need a journal, like for real, in which you can write every morning as you wake up or every night before you go to sleep and almost like keep... Some of you can keep like a little post-it in the mirror, like my north is this, like this is what I'm going for in money and finances and business and all that. Because it's so easy to forget. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, a Virgo. Pisces. When you're looking away from your intuition, I feel like it's because of some kind of need of survival. What do I mean by that? Your focus on your intuition, as you can see here, she's looking at her cup. And the ocean is chill and it's a beautiful day. But when you look away from your cup, the wave starts coming in. And that's the thing that sometimes you look away and then the waves come. But sometimes you're almost forced to look away from your intuition because you're trying to navigate these waves. And it seems here like, you know, he's holding cards. He knows what's up. He's in a very beautiful throne. He has his crown and his cup and a stable foundation. But he's looking away. He seems fearful. Not of the wave that he's riding, but maybe about other people. Some of you may be paying a little bit too much attention to others around you. You may be a little bit too aware of what they're doing, how they're doing it, why they're doing it. Focus on you. Even if what you're doing doesn't necessarily fit the mold that you think it needs to fit. Focus on your intuition in that sense, but be clear on what you're doing. I'm hearing, um, if you're not, if you don't stand for anything, you're going to fall for anything. What? If you, <laughs> it's not like that. If you don't stand, if you don't stand for anything, you're going to fall for everything. Or something like that. <laughs> Again, Knight of Cups. Look at how he's walking, focused on the cup. There is serenity as long as you're focused on the cup. 
And by cup, I mean your emotional state, your fulfillment, um, how you feel about things, and your intuition. When you're focused on the pentacles, and the ego, and the status, and the titles, then there is conflict. Why do you do what you do? Selfish why? And soul why? Why do you do what you do? If you are in business, and this is a money reading, of course money is going to be a factor. But place your intuition, your purpose, your service, your emotions over that. And you're going to be good. When you start sacrificing everything just for the money, that's when the issues come in. Money or status or ego, however it manifests. The emperor. You have to be very discerning because you're going to get more and more success and you're going to get more and more abundance. Okay. That is a fact. Like we've seen it in previous readings. Like there's, there's so much money showing up in readings right now. It's just insane. And what I see here is that Everyone around you is going to be coming in, asking you for all sorts of things. So you have to be very discerning on how to move forward. You have to be picky. You have to be... You're not going to be able to satisfy everybody. You're not going to be able to be cool with everybody. You have to be okay with the fact that the more you rise into power and the more responsibilities that you get with yourself and others, you have to accept that you're not always going to be liked. And even if you're not in a position of power or authority or leadership, we are not a golden coin. Like, not everyone is going to be happy to, <laughs> to have us, to welcome us. That's just the way it is. So the sooner you accept that and the sooner you're okay with people not being okay with you, the better you're going to be doing financially. Some of you are afraid of conflict. You're afraid of calling people out. Employees, employers, family members, you know. And you're going to have to start saying, no, I cannot give you that money because even though I have money, I have priorities. And... I have nothing left after my priorities. I'm sorry. You know? Or it's not my responsibility to help you. Or yes, I am going to help you with these boundaries, right? You're going to have to call people out. There could be people around you they're trying to get that coin out of you. Tempt you, trap you, confuse you. And you're going to have to be very discerning. This is so weird. Um, so that guy, if there is a guy and you resonated with that, that repeatedly comes in ads and it's like annoying as hell, a uh, lady or a guy or whatever that you've been kind of like interested in but annoyed at the same time, I'm coming back to that message and they're saying this person could have some kind of important training for you with money or something that can help you out with these kind of things. Knowing when to look, knowing when to say yes, knowing when to say no.
Because otherwise, it's, it's going to be too much, Pisces. You're going to overburden yourself. If you focus on your intuition and what you are doing, you can move things. But it's when you try to save everybody. It's when you try to put... Just because you can doesn't mean you have to. And that needs to be very clear for someone's family. Just because you can doesn't mean you have to. And just because you can doesn't mean you should. Alright, Pisces. Just because you make it look easy doesn't mean that it's easy for you. Just because you're younger, just because you're stronger, just because you are in the position that you are, Pisces, that doesn't mean that makes you obligated to take other people's burdens. No. Wow. This, this is a good reading. This is a really good reading. Some readings are all about predicting what is coming and we see the pentacles like as a tsunami coming in, right? But other readings are going to bring you back, right? To center, to tell you how to get those pentacles. And I feel like that's precisely what this one is. Pisces, I love you so much. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for hanging out. In the description box below, I will always leave my personal information in case you want to get to know me and see who is reading your cards. <laughs> and of course, all of the services that I offer. And keep back at Pisces. You got this. You got this. I love you so much. Bye.